What if you escaped a volatile relationship for your own safety and wellness only to never be free of it? A Houston woman who was shot to death by her ex in an apparent murder-suicide had to face that grim reality. Hey, what's going on, folks? Ashley here from The Dating Doc with more hot-off-the-press dating-related news. Before we jump into it, make sure you hit like and subscribe on this video as it does help the channel, and you'll be able to see more dating news, advice, and other content in your feed. Here's the story. Deputies from Harris County Sheriff's Office say the bodies of a woman and her ex-boyfriend found in her Houston apartment earlier this week were the result of a murder-suicide. Having not heard from her, the woman's current boyfriend and her daughter tried knocking and, after no response, managed to find a way to get the front door open, at which point the boyfriend happened upon the grisly scene. The cause of death for both appears to be by gunshot wound, and an investigation is ongoing. It's believed that the former relationship was volatile, leading to the ex-boyfriend coming over to shoot her and then himself. <sighs> News like this is never fun to hear, but it's eye-opening in many ways for us. Stories like this are why it's important to never allow a relationship or lack thereof to become a mental handicap that has you hurting yourself or others. Relationship and dating skills that we teach help create life if you want to have kids or save lives by preventing depression or tragedies like this. The toxic mentality of if you can't be with me then nobody will is a selfish cowardice act that stems from control and mental weakness. Yes, Life can suck after a failed relationship, but it shouldn't come at the price of taking someone's parent, sibling, child, family member, friend, coworker, or other from this world. If you're struggling with your mental health and feel the desire to take yourself or someone else out of this world, you can get help. At the very least, if you've made your decision and nothing can convince you out of taking your own life, why take someone else, especially someone you've ever loved, with you? You won't even be around to feel the effect of their absence. I can't fathom the idea. But bottom line is, if you're having any kinds of disturbing thoughts that involve harming yourself or another person, seek mental health resources because there are actions that are permanent and permanently affect the world as we know it. Relationship problems are among the leading contributors to both homicidal and suicidal thoughts, and it's part of why the dating doc does what we do, to educate and inspire so you don't become a statistic. You can help us just by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. We are also on Instagram at the dating doc. For all dating-related commentary, advice, and more, I've been Ashley from The Dating Doc. What's going on, folks? The best thing about The Dating Doc is not only are we producing content that's going to engage, entertain, and educate you, but we also have events, everything from speed dating, wine mixers, scavenger hunts, escape rooms, etc. It's our way of connecting people in this disconnected world that's addicted to swiping apps. So look below for upcoming events, and don't forget that promo code down there so you can save some money and come join us. See you soon.